What's going on guys, Chris from 416 Coffee. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make cold brew at home in nothing but a mason jar. So, as we know guys, cold brew, delicious, incredible, can be kind of expensive to buy out. And the nice thing is, it's actually very simple to make at home. You don't need a fancy grinder, you don't need a lot of equipment, and super low in acid, double in caffeine. Cold brew is really enjoyable, especially if you live in a hotter climate, which is, Funny, because we live in Canada and I'm making this video. But anyways, this is how you're gonna make it at home, guys. So the first thing is you are gonna need a one to eight ratio. So in this case, we're gonna do one liter of cold brew. So we're gonna need 125 grams of coffee. So a one to eight ratio is what I recommend for cold brew. So all you're gonna do, we're gonna pop on our scale here. We're gonna zero it out and we're gonna add are 125 grams of coarsely ground coffee. So as I said before, the nice thing about this is that you don't have to, oh, I went a little over, so we're gonna go a little over on the water. The nice thing about this is that you don't need a fancy grinder, guys. The grind should be as coarse as your grinder will allow you to go. Um, so got the coffee in there. We are going to add our water now. I'm just gonna go 1200 here. All right, then we're gonna pop our lid on like so. And we're just gonna give this a nice shake just to get everything mixed up, make sure all the coffee's wet. And then we're gonna take this and put it into the fridge for 24 hours. So now that your cold brew has been chilling in your fridge for 24 hours, it's time to filter it. So. All you're gonna need here is a V60 or a regular drip filter in a in a, some sort of holder. You're gonna pop that on another mason jar, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna give your filter a rinse just to make sure we don't have any papery taste in the in the final final product here. This guy's collapsing in a little bit. Just gonna make sure that's ready to go, and now you're ready to start filtering your cold brew. So. The reason why we're gonna filter it, pretty obvious guys, it's a bunch of grinds in here. We're gonna get them out. We're gonna get a nice clean cup and that'll be your cold brew concentrate. So we're just gonna dump this water out. All right, perfect. So now that that's all set, we can go ahead and start the filtering process. So here you're just gonna pour nice and slow and as you can see, we have delicious filtered cold brew coming out. That's really it, guys. So you're going to filter this whole thing. Um, should take a few minutes to filter it all. And then, boom, you have great cold brew. You can store this in your fridge for a few weeks. You can make larger batches and kind of, boom, all your coffee's ready to go for the week. This is then a concentrate. So some people drink this straight and it'll be a little strong. If it's a little too strong for you, you can dilute it with hot or cold water. So you can drink this cold, you can drink this hot, you can do a lot with this. And that's why people love, uh, people love the versatility of cold brew. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, one final note, actually, when you're choosing a coffee to make cold brew with, I would suggest thinking about making it with something that's a bit more nutty chocolatey, kind of fruity bright coffees don't tend to do well in this uh, application. So I would say something more nutty chocolatey, maybe more on the medium side of a roast profile, that tends to be great for making cold bread home, but experiment with different coffees, see what you like and enjoy.